DNA replication begins at a specific point in the DNA molecule called the origin of replication site. Initially, the enzyme helicase unwinds and separates a portion of the DNA molecule, after which single-strand binding proteins react with and stabilize the separated single-stranded sections of the DNA molecule. The enzyme complex DNA polymerase engages the separated portion of the molecule and initiates the process of replication. DNA polymerase can only add new DNA nucleotides to a pre-existing chain of nucleotides. Therefore, replication begins as an enzyme called primase assembles an RNA primer at the origin of replication site. The RNA primer consists of a short sequence of RNA nucleotides, complementary to a small initial section of the DNA strand being prepared for replication. DNA polymerase is then able to add DNA nucleotides to the RNA primer and thus begin the process of constructing a new complementary strand of DNA. Later, the RNA primer is enzymatically removed and replaced with an appropriate sequence of DNA nucleotides. Because the two complementary strands of the DNA molecule are oriented in opposite directions and the DNA polymerase can only accommodate replication in one direction, two different mechanisms for copying the strands of DNA are employed. One strand is replicated continuously toward the unwinding, separating portion of the original DNA molecule while the other strand is replicated discontinuously in the opposite direction with the formation of a series of short DNA segments called Okazaki fragments. Each Okazaki fragment requires a separate RNA primer. As the Okazaki fragments are synthesized, the RNA primers are enzymatically replaced with the appropriate DNA nucleotides and the individual Okazaki fragments are then bonded together into a continuous complementary strand.